So in this video, we're going to install Mozilla Firefox on a Chromebook. I'm using Pixelbook Go, but it should be a relatively similar process in other Chromebooks. Um, just make sure that uh, you have uh, Linux beta turned on in the settings, and that is available, of course. Also, update it and upgrade it, and you're good to go. So the first step is, of course, to download Linux version of Firefox. You can follow this link here. By the way, this, I'm following the whole article from this blog. I'm going to leave the link in the description. So uh, you want to download uh, Linux version of Firefox. Um, I already did it. And the next step you want to do is actually move it from downloads folder into Linux files folder using this menu. So let's do that. So there is a copy here. Great. And now you want to unpack it. So to unpack it, we're going to use terminal. So to do that, uh, you want to open terminal. Here we go. So the default folder where it's opening is actually Linux files. So that's ls and you'll see with that command your uh, file so now you want to um, actually unpack it um, to a folder um, to do that uh, you can use command tar then xjf and then the name of the file so let's double click on it copy it and paste it right here and then the name of the folder we want to unpack it to now let's wait so now that it's unpacked, let's uh, see if it's um, true. So ls again to list all the files and folders here. Yes, it's right there. So basically, we all, we're almost there. We already installed it, sort of. Uh, but uh, right now, we want to also install a library because Firefox might have a problem with it. Um, to install a library, follow that blog article and copy-paste this whole command. Let's copy it back to our terminal, paste it here. By the way, if you're having a problem with pasting, just use Control shift v and you're good. Now that we've already installed the library, we could actually um, add an icon because we're still missing an icon. So to add an icon, this is a little uh, more tough, but um, bear with me. We want to go to Linux folder uh, right here and we want to go to these options and uh, show hidden files. Now you have all hidden files and you want to create a, a folder called local. So uh, if it already exists, then just go in there. Um, as I've just installed my Linux beta term uh, container, I don't have anything here. So local, then the next folder inside that folder is going to be share. And then go. let's go there. There is application folder inside also. All of this is done so that you have this comfortable way of launching it through the menu. Um, and uh, let's leave this here. Now let's go to launcher menu. And then uh, some kind of editor, for example, text, which is default editor. Let's go there. And now uh, we want to copy some content from that article. So let's go back to the article copy this whole thing and go back to the editor paste it right here and make a few changes before you go so username username needs to be changed and to find out your username just go back to the terminal and right here you will see your username so in my case this is midrecom right here and also right here for the icon picture or logo and control s to save it now rename this to um, firefox dot desktop and let's go and find it again see it disappeared uh, that local folder loop creator so let's go to the options and show hidden files you can also do that with command control and dot so see i'm doing it right now and let's go to the local folder then to the share then the applications and save it right there now let's just see if it works so let's go to launcher and then search for Firefox and it's right there enter to open it and it's opening very well you can go to any website and it's supposed to work great if you have any questions I'll be happy to help see you the next time